So what's going on, uh, Roy? Where's the big beast pointing at this time? It's pointing at the constellation of Perseus, and in particular at an open cluster called M34. Nick, how come every time I ask you to take an image of an open cluster, you look at me like I just punched you in the face? Um, well, open clusters aren't the most exciting uh, targets to images. In, in a lot of cases, they're too big to actually fit on the sensor. An open cluster is a loose grouping of stars. They are born together, they represent the young stage of stellar formation, and the ultimate fate of these groupings is not to travel through time and space together. As they travel, as they rotate around the galactic centre, they will gravitationally interact with other things in the galaxy. Eventually their orbits will be disrupted. They may form a stream of stars. Eventually the stars will be dispersed around the galaxy. That's just a snapshot exposure, 10 second exposure, just to capture the main um, cluster stars. They're pretty much just made of stars. Uh, as, as an astro-imager, I'm much more interested in things like galaxies and the gas and dust associated with uh, emission nebulas like the uh, Orion Nebula and the Dumbbell Nebula. So. These are nice to see, probably better image with something like a DSLR camera because you can capture the star colours fairly quickly and uh, you have a much wider field of view. This is my Canon DSLR camera, a 450D. Uh, no lens on it at the moment. If I remove the cover, we're looking straight into the inner workings of the camera. Do you know what? Yes. I can see an object in the sky up there. What's that? Jupiter. The, the bright star, Jupiter, yeah. yes, huh. yes. Anyway, back to our Messier so, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The objects in the Messier catalogue that are nebula or clusters of stars, whether they be open clusters or globular clusters, they're all located in or just around our galaxy. So M34, this open cluster, is actually right next door in galactic or astronomical terms. It's located in the same spiral arm as our solar system. It's a collection of a few hundred stars and it's about 200 million years old, so it's old enough that the very brightest massive stars have, have already burnt out and died, so we're not seeing the very, very bright blue end, uh, but we're seeing sort of the intermediate stage of an open cluster. Obviously we have to mate the camera up with the telescope. In the place where we'd normally have a lens on here, I'm going to put an adapter. That's going to fit into the focusing mount of the telescope, so in effect, the big mirror of the telescope is going to act as the lens for the camera. So that's on. I'm just going to release the shutter of the camera and let it start uh, imaging. We'll start with an exposure of 30 seconds. You want my light off now, don't you? That's right, thank you. All right, there we go. M34 is part of a larger collection of objects known as the Local Association, which consists of several different star clusters, including M45, another Messier object, which is very well known, the Pleiades. And observations have shown that many of these structures have the same velocities and at the moment at least are travelling through space in a loose association somewhat together. We've just been imaging M34 through a 30 centimetre telescope, that's the aperture of it, using a Canon digital SLR camera. You know I want to see the photo. Right. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so that's it, is it? That is the open cluster Messier 34. Basically showing the brightest stars of it. We could stack a few images to make a longer exposure and bring out a lot of the fainter ones as well.